Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, went for a little motorcycle ride today and I uh, went up to one of my favorite old spots. When I was a little kid, I remember my dad taking me up here. Anyways, it's called uh, Pilot Peak and there's an old abandoned fire lookout. It's getting pretty decrepit, but uh, it's still here. Um, I'll give you a, a little tour here in just a second, which is kind of between Laporte and Quincy. And um, the elevation is uh, right up here. You'll see it there. I don't have it off the top of my head, but you just saw it there in text. But anyway, there's an old fire lookout. And i um, not exactly 100% sure when it was built, but again, that might be something that you're seeing right now on the screen. I'll take you through a little tour around it. It's kind of, kind of ironic that I went up to a fire lookout today because as, uh, there's a big fire over here. Over here near Quincy. So um, I just rode my dirt bike most of the way up here and you have to hike up the rest of the trail. But let me take you for a little tour around the fire lookout. Um, the last time I was up here with my youngest son, probably about, oh, eight years ago, these stairs were still intact enough to where you could get up them. But uh, I almost climbed up this thing but it got kind of sketchy and I didn't want to do it by myself and crack my skull and end up not being able to get help. Here's uh, the lower level, there's a big oil tank. Um, where the big furnace used to be. Okay, we'll walk around the outside over here. I wish I could walk up around the top to show you guys that. Just It's only, you know, 10 feet higher, but 10 feet seems to make all the difference in the world. And right out here, I've got some surprises to show you on a couple of these rocks. Uh, this is a real neat rock up on top of this Pilot Peak. Um, right here, you can see it says Hewitt, July... 4th, 1874, and then there's something else down here, 1902, um, some hieroglyphics, essentially, can't make out that date, and around the corner here we have H period A period D, September 1, 1853, and then we have some 1874, so this place since the gold rush, people have been checking it out. Uh, so, again, some, some real neat history, Plumas County. Well, I found something down here, and uh, cremation services, 2010-0029. So, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> it looks like somebody had their ashes spread up here at Old Pilot Peak. And, uh, you know, frankly, this is a pretty darn good place to do it. But I wasn't expecting to find that today. Um, interesting. So a little bit of the view. I built it pretty pretty sturdy. It's sad that it is so decrepit and not being used anymore. Stuff like this sure makes a sure makes for a neat history and neat story. So and it's pretty hazy there, smoky. We have a big fire right over here. And uh, right above Quincy, matter of fact, I just saw a big old DC-10 uh, firefighting plane a minute ago take up out of that canyon. And um, there's a whole bunch of firefighting planes and helicopters working from the other side when I rode through Quincy. Uh, it looked like, wouldn't be surprised if Quincy does get evacuated. It looks like it's slowly working its way down the hill towards the town. 
So anyways, right down here, you can see the old uh, outhouse for this place, back when this used to be manned, what's left of it at least. See the rest of this canyon. This is called Onion Valley, right down in here. And uh, there's an old miner's cabin down in there, it's pretty cool. And normally, over this way, you can see Little Grass Valley, but all the smoke's keeping that from happening. And uh, so anyways, Anyways, I couldn't make it all the way up, I had to hike. It's a really loose shaley road. If you have an ATV, you can probably make it the last um, few hundred yards. You wouldn't be able to get a, a regular truck, it's so narrow, but probably just squeeze an ATV through, again, when the snow drifts are gone.